Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. Today's meditation will be found from Luke chapter 19, verses 28 to 38. The triumphal entry of Jesus. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethphage and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a coat there which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you why you're untying it, tell him the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found it, just as he had told them. As they were untying the coat, his owners asked them, Why are you untying the coat? They replied, The Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their clothes on the coat, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their coats on the road. When he came near the place where he rode, where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. I just want to leave with you that we ought to always praise and worship God for all that he has done for us and what he continues to do for us and what he's going to do for us in the future. And you see many people in the um, crowds, they were praising God for all the miracles that they have seen. And God and our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he continues to do great miracles in our midst. He has healed many from diseases. He has healed us from sicknesses. He has healed us from heartache and pain. And we have to lift Jesus high on this week, on this day, because Jesus is worthy of all the praises. And also in the same passage, Mark 11, 1 through 11, you see the word Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. And Hosanna means uh, Jesus saves. Hosanna, come save us. So we should always cry out, Jesus, come save us. Our, our Lord and Savior and our King, you are worthy of all the praises. So I just want to remind you to always give God the worship and praises that is due unto his name. Always worship and praise Jesus for all the things that he has done. He came into this world to deliver the world from sin. And we should thank God for delivering us from all the sins that we have committed against him. We should praise him knowing that we have an opportunity to have eternal life with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We don't have to worry anymore because Jesus did it all for us. And we know that he came triumphantly and he came mighty when he rode on the coat and he fulfilled prophecy. One thing is for sure that we can stand on is the word of God because the word of God is true and the word of God will fulfill all that it is set out to do. And we ought to just give God all the praise and all the glory and honor that's due to his name. Amen.